What's up guys, got the new Armour Crate and EXP RTR back out. The first run with this thing was a complete blast. Uh, straight from the box, this thing took a complete beating. Uh, even running the stock 13 tooth pinion, this thing definitely had fun factor. So now I switched up to an 18 tooth pinion and a punch seven on the ESC. I'm not sure how the 18 tooth will do with the temps or these tires. But if I need to, I'll go down to some backflip LPs. I was gonna simply use the 16 tooth speed pinion that came with the truck, but I broke my little C-clip and I couldn't get the pinion to sit on the uh, motor shaft. Uh, nice and snug so i just went to a robinson racing pinion went over the truck after the last bash and i did find a crack in this wing mount kind of up here towards the top uh, down here it's like super beefy i don't think you'll break it right here at the tower but it's still a little bit thin in these little locations right here so i just wrapped it up with some tape and uh we'll see how it goes i did order a couple more mounts to have some spares again this is just one sweet looking truck i mean armor really nailed it in the styling department once again with this awesome body the exp logos and the red and black I just love how it looks, but I'm going to give her a little freestyle out here and uh, gear it up and uh, let's see what she'll take. All right, guys, I just had a massive wheelie up and tumble and it broke the wing off. So we're just gonna, we're gonna wing it without the wing. Doesn't look the best, but I've got to get some bashing in. Oh, that was close. It looks like they got rid of my cliff right here where I jumped off the EXB 8S. They smoothed it all out, so that kind of sucks. I was hoping I'd jump this sucker off a cliff. on the other side. <laughs> oh, that sounded rough. I'll tell you what, if that didn't break an arm, I got lucky. Everything looks good. I thought I heard a crack, but I guess she's still trucking. <laughs> Almost in the top of that trailer right there.
Tell you what, guys, this thing is definitely taking a flogging in a serious mud bath. It's gonna be fun to clean this up, but this thing is holding up. I'm really impressed by the durability. Other than this broken uh, wing mount right here, I mean, this tower and uh, shock standoffs are taking all the punishment and everything still looks good. All right, guys, it's about to get real. I came home, cleaned her up from that awesome uh, muddy freestyle bash. This time I put belted guitars on it, a 25 tooth pinion, uh, everything else is still stock on the electronics. And then I adjusted the droop just a little bit to give it a little bit less droop. And uh, we're gonna do some uh, crazy ramp launches, just have some fun with it, and let's uh, see what she'll do. Whew, I almost lost it in the sun. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's nothing like gearing these suckers up and sending them to the moon, or to the sun. Boo! <laughs> that was a graceful landing. She's still going. Uh, let's check that uh, EXP chassis so far. Oh yeah, still straight. Alright guys, I'm standing over 100 feet from the ramp in front of it, so let's see if I can nail it. It's always the fun part. Oh yeah, uh-oh, looks like a front tire. Oh! That was a good jump, but... Oh, okay, lost the uh, screw up here on the front turn link. <laughs> you guys can see that, so... I'm glad that happened in mid-air and not uh, on the run-up. Oh, <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna be it for a uh, second run of this thing. Had a complete blast with it. Again, big shout out to Arma for another amazing rig. This thing is just a straight up hard bash worthy, straight from the box in my opinion. I had a complete blast doing a nice uh, freestyle mud bash and uh, running the uh, backflip LPs with 18 tooth pinion. And of course, going RC dude style with belted guitars and uh, geared up to do some big sends. That was a whole lot of fun. It gets my blood flowing. So far, the chassis on this thing is still perfectly straight. As she's sitting on a piece of wood right now, nice and flush. Uh, there is a skid plate, of course, up in the front, so it's causing it to sit up a little bit. But overall, it's uh, pretty darn flat. The towers still look perfectly straight. The shock standoffs took it. I'm pretty amazed at what this truck is taking uh, stock out of the box. The back tower is still perfectly straight. I haven't broken a standoff yet. I did go ahead and uh, put on an older style wing on here just to get by until my new wings come in because uh, I really like how it's designed, but it's just really cold. I was bashing in uh, upper 40 degree weather. So that's, uh, you know, of course, plastics are going to snap when it's that cold. Again, big props to Arma Horizon Hobby. They really did their homework on this sucker. This thing is a complete tank straight out of the box. Had a whole lot of fun. Can't wait to get her out again. And I will see you guys next time. RC Dude 81. Peace out.